Good morning. In the last three verses of chapter two of 2 Corinthians, we hear over and over again this idea of leaving behind an aroma of Christ. Scents linger. You know, as a mom of two boys, I can tell you that scents linger. But while this is true that they can linger in the air, they can also linger in our memory. And there's a lot of science that talks about scent memory. You know, just the other day, I was at a backyard camp out. And so for the first time in years, I was in a tent. And I was putting my bags in and I came out and I said, wow, I really love the way that this tent smells. It brings so back so many good memories. And my friend who did not grow up camping replied that I was crazy and that it smelled old and stuffy. The smell of this tent lingered in my memory and it became a reminder of so much more than just the smell of a tent. And verse 14 tells us to spread the aroma of the knowledge of him, meaning Jesus, everywhere. And I, I love this idea, but it's a really strange one. What does the aroma of Christ smell like? Uh, how can we spread it? What does that mean? Well, if you look at the cultural context, uh, just for a second, uh, we know that all throughout the Old Testament, we read verses that talk about pleasing aromas to God. And these are always verses that talk about and make reference towards a sacrifice. And the people in Corinth would have automatically thought about those verses when hearing that they are called to spread the aroma and the knowledge of Him everywhere. And they would have understood that they are supposed to sacrifice for Jesus, but also they are supposed to spread the knowledge of his sacrifice, of who Jesus is and what he had done everywhere. And we are called to do the same thing. So how do we spread? Well, in thinking about this, I was thinking, you know, the smell of a tent, it's, it's just a part of what the tent is, right? It's the essence of the tent. And if we are to be, as it says in verse 15, uh, to God a pleasing aroma of Christ, then our essence, who we are, needs to leave Jesus behind when we leave. So that not only with our words and our actions will we speak and show Jesus, but with our very character. The very core of who we are will echo Jesus so much that he will linger when we leave. So that then, when others think of us, they are actually reminded of Jesus and of his sacrifice, which is for them and is for all. And these verses remind us of that, that we are called to be, it says, among those being saved and those perishing. Jesus' sacrifice was for all, so we are called to be with and for everyone, leaving behind the knowledge of and a pleasing aroma of Christ wherever we go, to whomever we go. And that's what I want to encourage you to do today and each day as you go out, to leave behind a pleasing aroma of